Hi everyone, this is Veron. Um, today I'm going to share with uh, you girls a beauty tip. So um, this is actually taught by my beautician because um, the last time when I went to her, which was in then no 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 January, which was two months ago, she taught me this beauty tip and. From that day onwards, after I met her, I've been uh, using this small beauty tip um, on my face when I apply toner until now. And I think it actually works like much more better than my usual um, toner routine. So um, I'm going to share this with you guys and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so the first thing I do after washing my face is obviously um, grabbing a facial towel and drying my face outright. So after I've dried my face, uh, in the first 30 seconds that you've dried your face, grab your toner, like just put it right beside your basin or anything, and your cotton bud just right beside your basin, just put it there. Because um, in the first 30 seconds after you've dried your face, it's like literally like the best time to apply toner onto your face because um, it absorbs, the skin absorbs well for the first 30 seconds itself. It's like going to be absorbing um, most of your product into your skin. So um, what I like to do is, after drying my face, I quickly grab my toner and cotton wool, um, pour, it on, uh, pour the product on it and apply it on. Okay, uh, so you know when we apply toner, I think most of us uh, use this technique and I've been using that technique for like years. And... Uh, so this is how I usually apply toner. Uh, I get like a cotton wool, a piece of cotton wool, and apply toner on it. And I just like pat, 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 pat it on my face um, as gently as possible. And then uh, after I've patted, finish my whole face with the toner and the cotton wool, uh, I just use my fingertips and gently like just pat it, like make the make the toner get absorbed by, uh, in my skin. So I just cut it like this. But um, my beautician actually told me that by doing that, I'm actually increasing the chances of um, fine wrinkles and wrinkles forming on my face because uh, you see, even though we we are gently like patting it, patting the toner into our faces, but because our face, uh, the skin on our face is like very delicate. So when we do this, it act, it's actually vibrating the skin. So um, just imagine someone slapping your face. That would hurt, right? And your face would suck after like the person slaps you. But literally, just imagine it's something like that. But you're actually doing it gently. So you're literally slapping your face every day. Hmm. Okay, I I'm not sure if like um, this has any uh, scientific reasons or anything but since it's taught by my beautician and um, it works for me uh, because I really do see some like changes on my skin after I did this so why don't you guys try it out and tell me uh, whether it works for you or not uh, okay so from after that, that day onwards my daily toner routine is uh, I get my piece of cotton wool uh, usually the cotton wool that I use isn't like uh, the normal big packet cotton wool, like 3 for 12 ringgit cotton wool. Um, mine is like just one packet for 16 ringgit and 80 cents. Uh, it's by Shiseido, so uh, it's a bit pricey, but the quality is different. So this is my usual cotton wool. As you can see, even if I like just pull it and pull it and pull it, only a little bit comes out. But if I use like oh sorry, if I use my normal cotton wool, I just pull it and pull it again. It's like a lot of the cotton wool comes out. So um, I don't really like the quality of that if um, I'm applying toner onto my face because I need a, a cotton wool that like um, really absorbs all the toner in it um, and saves me product so I can apply it on my whole face. So I don't need to like take another cotton wool and reapply toner again and again and again. Okay, but anyway, so what I do is I take my cotton wool and uh, I pour toner on it. So after I pour toner on it, I just pat it onto my starting from my chin. I just pat it onto my chin, 
and uh, just leave it there for about five seconds and release it and then pat it upwards and then uh, leave it there for another five seconds and then move upwards leave it for another five seconds go onto my cheeks leave it for another five seconds again and go to my forehead and leave it for another five seconds and then move on to the next half of my face and repeat the same process so after that um, it's still a bit like wet on your skin right it still feels wet obviously so after that I just use uh, my palms and just touch it um, just pat it there and leave it there for like five seconds or so three to five seconds and then pat it again um, by using by doing this you're actually using the warmth of your palms or hands to um, open up your pores and let the toner soak, soak into your skin and um, yeah this is and then do this for the chin and the forehead and so I hope this video has helped you girls and I hope you like it and thank you for watching bye